Hey guys, how you doing? Alright. Let's kick this up a notch. Let's get into it. going for uh, uh, B2. I'm trying to see if I can't get Knight to G6 or potentially Knight to uh, F5. Either one would be good for me. He has to decide decide for uh, what he wants to actually do is he could play b3. That might be an idea. He actually might play knight to uh, f3. He might even take, but I doubt that he'll do that. That's too much. So there's a couple ideas that he could play. It's b3, knight uh, f3 with the uh, potential for a castle and kingside with the knight. Oops, sorry, I have to uh, do this so that you guys can see. Okay, he retreated back. That was a little un, uh, unorthodox there a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to be going for the pawn there. He, okay, so he plays there. Okay, then we can actually attack his uh, queen. So the queen is going to have to like move either to, uh, yeah. And then we win and we jump our knight right in. And that picks up a uh, that should be check. And we should have
the queen takes, I could actually then fork right there. So my the tactic training is doing good. All right. Should be able to pick up a, uh, a knight here. Trying to see, because I want to get this knight move in here, but I'm concerned about this bishop. So I'm thinking maybe I can get knight uh, bishop to c4 and then en route it into. Maybe. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to just support my bishop here and I can always then uh, check if he plays there right away. Sometimes you just you have to just you have to get your pieces protected. You don't want pieces hanging. That's one thing I've learned. Yeah, I was seconding that thought that he might do that. So I'll just play a queen up here. I'm gonna have to trade off my queen. I'm still a whole piece up. So either way, I'm I'm doing really good. He might try queen uh, there, but I, I don't know. I think he gets, if he does that, he gets, I check me and yeah, he's forced to actually take this point. I really don't want to, uh, if I don't have to give up my bishop here. I really prefer having a bishop here. And I believe that I have mate here. 
Yeah. Yeah, if I if I do that there's a problem. So I might even I could retreat out. I'm trying to see if I see if I can get a uh, knight here I, I have mate. So I'm trying to see if I can't get a knight in there. Okay, so ah, uh, snap. That that does away with my fun. take you know I'm, a, I'm up material anyways and then I'll castle queen side and push my pawn he can't really he can't get his uh, rook out so I'm pretty safe there Now I just acquired a pass pawn. Ew. Not so much. Still up three pawns. That was a I should have checked. Uh let's see if I can No, I would have had to retreat my oh, I could have played bishop there. Then made it in route. Well, he could have then moved his king there. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. okay, good. Now I am going to see if I can't get a. Uh,
Let's get my pawns rolling now. I think that's me. Boom. I gotta go back to this one point here. There's a point at which I'm wondering where I went. Where I went wrong here. Not here. What should I have done? What should I have done here? What should I do here? I mean, oh snap! Okay, okay. So I should have actually played here. Okay. Retreat the queen back and hold the position. Okay, because I'm threatening to mate him. So he's going to have to play there. And then now I can actually bring in. He plays there. I can drop my knight in. You take and you, you win material. If queen takes, then drop, you can actually drop a knight. Okay. Grab there. He takes and you take. Now you're a whole rook up, and if he plays there, he just castle kingside, and your operation's safe at that point. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. That. That's. That's it. Okay. So there. Oops. What? What in the world? No. 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 I don't want computer analysis. Get out of there. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know how that that got there. I was wondering if so this actually would have been better. So check in here. I was wondering about this one too. Oh 
Oh, because you... Oh, why didn't I... He can't take if he takes. If he takes with the queen, we just drop in. Mate three. Okay, I should have checked and done that. That would have got my knight out. He can't take there. Then you check again. Now you can start your knight maneuvering in. Oh, nice. Oh, then you then you open up the the king side. Probably just retreat the queen back because you don't want to. Oh, you oh you take and then rook takes. Oh, I see. You pick up the. You pick up the rook. Okay, and then, wow, that's total domination. Okay. That would be good. That's fun for sure. Alrighty. Let's start in. Okay, Doki. D4, knight f3. This is the Dutch defense. Knight f6. Okay, knight f6. And bishop. Now we're we're getting we're setting up for the. This allows and potentially if uh, he plays here, and also excuse me, it also stops the knight from going to g4. Bishop, excuse me, bishop has a spot to h2. So, uh, g6. M remember, this is, uh, the whole line is, is the setup. The Stonewall Dutch has a certain type of setup to it. c3. This prepares for the queen to come in. And, as well, remember, we leave open uh, c4. For later on accessibility, we can. It's C3 is a flexible move. At any time we can go C4. So it's just it gives us some lines of flexibility. I, I think I like it because it that's that's our goal is to be flexible. Okay, we're in, intending to play bishop to. Uh, let's see, G. Tending to uh, play a bishop the, to c4. Here we go. And that's, that's our idea there. This also stops castling for black. So. And. Later on, we potentially could hit the B pawn too. So we have a lot of attack. So instead of uh, queen to e6, I'm sorry, instead of e6, not queen e6, instead of queen e6, there's d5 that could be played. Knight bd2, knight, B, knight bd7. This uh, connects the, uh, the knight. And then g5, and I, I we sometimes rather than that move, there's really no rush. You can actually just play um, an alternate move, which is e3, just the standard e3. E3 is uh, a powerful move. It 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 doesn't. You're not saying to your uh, opponent what. You're not giving away your thoughts. What I'm trying to say is you're not giving away your thoughts. So you want to keep very flexible so your opponent goes, what is my opponent going to play? What are they going to play? What are they going to play? And we want him to stay guessing. Oops. So queen b3, e6. 
knight b uh, d2, uh, knight to c6, with the idea of playing uh, e uh, e5. We're trying. He's trying to get e5 in if he can. So we have to always, always keep that in our back pocket. That we may have to um, implant our bishop for take one tempo and put our bishop to h2 so that we have a uh, active sometimes I've actually won a game one time that a player forgot that I had a bishop on h2 surprisingly that does happen every once in a while and uh, you can check mate maybe even win a rook with that setup so it's kinda unless you have full board vision that's what we're trying to do is get full board vision Uh, let's see, e3, queen e7. Let's see, where are we at? Queen e7. Alright, castle queen side. Then castles. There's also the alternate move, which is uh, b6. This does something. It gets the pawn a rolling. Also it allows the fianchetto of the dark light square bishop which would dominate the a a8 to h1 diagonal. So that's actually that would actually be a better move but sadly black didn't play that. He castled and then we got our attack in. Wham! G5 He uh, he took with uh, uh, H F takes G five. This there's also another way what what could uh, be playable is. Let me see here. I think this is the best line now that now that I think about it from the notes. Yeah, this opens up takes takes and. Then He's like he's up a pawn, but look at what White gets for that pawn. He gets two open files right to the king. So you gotta love that. Uh, bishop to g3. This protects the f2 uh, pawn because the knight wants to do a lovely fork. But we stop that. Knight d8. And then uh, rook to h4. This uh, attacks the knight. And the knights, remember, if a piece isn't protected, it's on pre. So white gets to develop a rook with uh, an attack. f6. Bishop uh, d2 because we want to get all of our pieces eye, eyeballing as uh, uh, Yazra would say uh, h7 because this is our attack point. We want to take that because we have a rook attacking it. Uh, knight f7. So white blacks in full defense. And then uh, rook h d h d to h one. The white has a uh, this is what it, this is what the what the author says. White has a ton of compensation for the pawn. The plan is to load up on the h files, which what we did, at the, uh, and also at the right moment take here on uh, g six. Number two, if there is no immediate sack, then white can slowly push the center pawns with e4, e5, and and possibly even f4 and f5. We can get both of them going up the board. Uh, and that would undermine the structure on g6, which would allow for the queen to get put in, into play, and potentially at the right moment, uh, a sacrifice. We're wanting to pry open our king tear him open 
so so that he is ripe for our snipers, which are our bishops. So uh, that's what happened. And so bishop to uh, d7. An attempt to distract white on the wing. What he's trying to do is say to um, white, just I'll give you a pawn. I'll give you your pawn back. Just take your pawn. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone for a while. Uh, you know what? My a pawn isn't worth our king's life. So here you go. Give it. Here it is. And White's like, okay, thank you very much. I'll take it. Exclaim. Black is an excellent judge too. Uh, he passively, it's it's like the guy thinks, oh, I'm drawing his queen off to the side. And in theory, we want our pawn back with interest because we have these two pawns that are potentially going to be under fire. So rook f c uh, c eight. This opens up the king for uh, being able to run. So he we got our pawn back. His pawns are horrible, and we have one pawn chain. Our opponent has two. We go queen to a uh, a five a six rook uh, c to b eight. And then uh, queen to a5, which when, remember, we always have to ask our, ourselves this question. When uh, our opponent moves to peace, what they leave behind? Bing, ding, 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 c7. So what's the best move? Queen a5, wham. What, um, black played c5 to try to break open the king side. There's actually a better line, which would be rook to uh, b7. Uh, yeah, going complete nut, completely nuts. Nuts. Uh, that's what that's what he says. He's the guy goes like crazy with uh, an attack. So we'll just call it crazy. Uh, he gives up too much material in an attempt to open the lines against White's king. Uh, Black should have been patient and patiently waited and played what we just played here rook to b7 would have been a very patient move even if white gets in g5 exclaim that's not a big thing now he takes g5 queen takes g5 and now bishop to i mean queen to f7 this is actually a better spot for our queen and we want the queen actually there the knight really was blocking Her Majesty's power. And at this point, we can actually go. Let me see, let me get my thing right. E, uh, E4. Uh, this, uh, and white's attack clearly has more force than black's peaceably protecting. Uh, his peaceable protector. It's basically, we have more of an attack. We have enough pieces to take the king out. There's also, if uh, black gets a little greedy and plays rook a to d a b1, we can uh, drop the surprise of his life on him. Boom. Rook takes c. Bang. Rook takes b. I mean, uh, h takes, sorry, h h7 and he plays uh, rook takes b uh, b2 and then we go wham queen ta uh, bishop takes g and we have just pried the king apart his all of his army that is his royal guard has been taken apart now he has to call in his uh, reinforcements he's pulling in the ranks he's saying come on back i need your help and so the, the queen's like i'm i'm here don't worry so she goes queen f8, and then we go uh, queen to h4, uh, and there's really no way uh, that he can stop the mate that's coming to pass. Let's see, uh, we'll put a mark here, because I want to see what the computer says on the mate. I didn't even check it. I, I saw the mate, but I wanted to see if I, if I had it correctly. Okay, if you check there, Knight takes, root takes, 
bishop takes and then queen there so that that's a line if he doesn't play and let's say he plays he's trying to go for more opening up you have check there and then you have mate so so he can't do that so the best is actually uh, rook to b1 okay but he plays uh, c5 which is a mistake d takes c5 knight h5 and then c takes uh, d knight takes the pawn Then uh, Rook takes the knight. And what book is this? Oh, it's uh, Play the London System. Play the London System. I have Play the French too, so after we're done with the London, we'll have to go through the, the French with uh, Black. So that we can learn the French. And when uh, this was incredible, this is like a, a huge sack. It's like white uh, knows that he has enough because they takes and then queen takes. <laughs> uh, you got it. You have to go over the French. It's it's the it's one of the best openings. It helped Grandmaster Simon Williams get uh, B and I M. Negative one. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, queen. Uh, let's see. And then there's f5. You can he can also try king f8. Rook takes the pawn. Queen uh, bishop takes. Queen takes e8. Check. King f7. And then we surprise him with wham checkmate. So he, he has to basically just protect with his knight, which ends up losing anyways. Uh, king, uh, bishop takes knight wham takes bishop takes rook so now we're we have our rook back and we have an attack to boot as well attack coming with it rook uh, takes h6 he can't take the I mean pawn takes h6 he can't take because of the pin you gotta love pins uh, rook takes exclaim and then we uh, we go g5 now we're threatening a uh, potential mate to, with uh, rook h8 king takes and then we checkmate so if uh, white had played a gotten a little too greedy and uh, didn't play knight to g5 and taken here it would have ended up perpetual actually uh, per pet because you have to play here you take back forth there you get per pet so that's why um, right here would be a that'd be a bad move so that's why you have to be you got to be careful when and not to just tank randomly because sometimes it'll actually lose you the game you'll be in such a winning position so bit uh, b6 or uh, knight knight rook to b6 and then uh, rook h8 exclaim and this sets up for a uh, checkmate because if he takes he, he gets mated so it sets up for a mate and uh, two 
Okay, now we need to uh, and go back to our summary. With here we go. Another option for white is b uh, queen to b3. Oops, queen b3 on move six, with the idea of castling queenside, and then attacking with. Uh, because we played h3 after we do this we move our knight because we played h3 we can now go uh, g4 so this move does a couple things stops castling and allows for us to castle queenside and we can play g4 at the right moment so we're, we're good to go on that well with that okay we're gonna now go and uh, do some of our puzzles Second, oops. There we go. Puzzles. So, okay, I'll let you guys take a look at this, and you guys can. Uh, we'll be right back. You guys put in the chat. We'll go over the moves, and we'll see how we do. Okay. Good job. Be right back. So, yeah, so you're thinking uh, uh, bishop a6 uh, to get the rook off of the light squares, okay. Actually, what I'm thinking is this. I'm thinking a more subtle, it's kind of, it looks like, really, does it actually work? 
bishop to b5, bishop b5, because you're attacking uh, the pin piece, bishop b5, right here. Because if he tries to uh, take your, I'm sorry, if he tries to take your, you grab his rook. So bishop uh, b5 wins a piece. Oh, that's true. You're right. He could just retreat back. Ah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that, that, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, if we can get the rook to uh, c8, c7, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, I see that now, yeah. The, the line would be, our best line would be bishop a6. And if rook um, c7, that would actually be, in my, in my opinion, a double, where's the question marks? A double question mark. Uh, then we can actually play our bishop right back to uh, b5, and that would be an exclam, and we win. So, yeah. But the the nice move would be if he did that, if he did that question mark idea, that that would be the that would be the move you would love to play right here. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, this doesn't work if you guys are wondering, why doesn't this work? Exactly. Uh, what uh, play the grubber said is you uh, he can retreat the bishop back to protect the rook so first you have to attack the rook when the rook comes up you just come right back and you win not a bad one I actually like that one I'll give that a thumbs up let's see here Great job, guys. Let's see here. Okay, so he, he basically took our rook with his knight. can't be this simple, can it? Can it actually be uh, bishop takes
thinking rook. I'm thinking potentially rook takes. Uh, there might be rook takes. C8. That's that's an interesting move. Missing something here. <clears> that <throat> oh, was that. That was actually my one of my ideas as well. That's what I was thinking. So, Ron, we're thinking the same, but I there has to be something more. We're we're. Uh, missing something more. There's got to be something more than that. Trying to see if we don't potentially have like a uh, an attack here. Um, I'm, thi I'm thinking. Do we? Have, do you think we got like maybe it's uh, knight a6 that attacks the queen. Knight a6 potentially attacks the queen, and uh, th this square is taken. That square is taken. That square is taken. So the queen would have to leave the C file and potentially uh, maybe go if we play there on A6 you may have to go Queen to Queen E4 then we have Rook to we have rook e8. Hmm. So knight a6. Uh, if queen uh, e3, we have rook e8, and I'm thinking we get a pretty uh, sizable attack with that. You'd have to play like queen here. Yeah, I'm thinking this this might be the move queen because we can then at that point see the knight has only two squares that can go uh to this protected actually three <clears throat> but if we move our knight and we get the queen the lights the um, her majesty out of out of the protection of this rook we can actually pick up two pieces so a potential idea is knight a6 uh, I know I'm rewriting this again
yeah we uh, this right here what you could do at this point sorry copy instead of uh, instead of actually the rook moving over you can actually just play uh, bishop takes uh, g g3 bishop takes g3 when king to and, and king takes g3 and then the queen can come back and take uh, c1 and we pick up our not c1 not queen c1 uh, uh, queen c8 that's what I mean queen c8 I'm pretty sure that uh, rook to a6 is the move I'm pretty close to 100% on that I'm probably like 98% on it so I, I, I vote uh, knight a6 what do you what do you guys think knight a6 I'm going with that one so are you with me yep let's give it a go oh yikes Ouch. Oh, so he... Uh, no. What did I... What did I... What are we missing here? I just take? What did he just... Oh, we, oh, I get it. Okay, if he comes out there, we could uh, just come... Just retreat our... Okay, we just come there. Ah, snap! I, I, th I really thought that, I really thought this was gonna work. Oh, okay, there. He's got there. We got there, and then bishop takes. Okay, app. Nikes. Uh, I thought for sure we had that one. That that was so beautiful, but I forgot he had knight g6. Uh, sometimes simplicity is actually the best thing, so I gotta remember that. We gotta you know, keep it simple. Thinking it's potential. The first thing that uh, calls out to me is C4 check, and it's a fork. That's a fork on the rook. So a potential line would be um, uh, queen uh, c4 check if uh, when uh, king uh, b8, king b8. The reason uh, I looked at Queen, uh, the reason Queen uh, F4 has a problem is that his rook could actually go back to uh, D7, and it uh, it'll block. So if you, it's not a bad move. If he goes there, the rook could actually uh, flow back and block here. But if you go C, yeah, if you go C, uh, Queen C4. There is nothing that can block. The queen can't come back because of this pawn. 
and the rook's gonna fall. Let's grab the let's grab the rook. It checks, and you can actually play. Uh, I believe you have to intercept with the the queen, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yikes. Oh. Wow. Found the hardest one, but missed the most simple uh, continuation. So, takes there, and then up. Because he has to keep checking comes down and then if he tries to check here well, he can't check there so if he tries checking here he just flee up and if he takes there you take here and if he tries checking he just move over he pushes up you take check we yeah you can actually come over here I like this move best it takes, you come to, oh, not there, my bad there. You come here, you take, and it's all over. Because you get the king of all, oh, so close. Uh, I moved too fast. I moved too fast. Uh, that was my fault. Okay, oops. Okay, Doki. We'll try one uh, one game and then we'll get on to back onto our tactics. Need to take a quick break. We're getting, we're there. We just got to got to stay more slow and focused. Okay.
gosh, it was, do I want to take with the pawn? Or do I want to take with the knight? I think I'll take with the knight. I can always reroute in there <clears throat> if need be. <clears throat> Thought he might play that, so.
Oh, shoot. I was gonna double up rooks, but my mouse misclicked. That was a misclick on my part. We'll face another. We'll face another guy. I was going. I'll, I was going to show you. I'll, after this, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I should have done that. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll go back to that one game, and I'll show you what my idea was that I that I missed. Not this one, but this one here. Then my mouse misclicked, I'll show ya. This was the idea here. And then if he plays here, I take there, he takes there, I move up. He takes, I take. Yes, I'm down and an exchange. But I think I, I, I know I can at least hold. This was kind of my idea. And that's what really sucked. <laughs> Was was that? And if he has that there, I just come back here. I'm good if he comes here. I just come over. And I then I protect and I can hold, but my mouse misclicked and that that, that sucks big time.
try one more, see if we can't get another uh, person. Do one more.
appreciate that, but no. Uh, we have to finish up this one puzzle. Uh, second. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, do this one and maybe one more. I think I'm just going to do this one here. We'll just do this one. And I got a log. Let's see here. What are we missing here? He could come up here, though. So I was looking at that, too. If you play here on uh, D3, takes, and then there he's got king to H2. Yeah, I was looking at H4 too, but could he actually do anything after that? I don't think so. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Oh. What did I miss? What am I missing here? What am I missing? Is it... Oh, is it this? Do one more drat. Missed that one. That's my fault there. Too fast. We'll do one more. Thinking. I was thinking that if he plays f five, he could actually potentially take with the queen. Not not a bad idea.
but um, I don't know. Now I'm thinking here I'm wondering if we can't play Bishop and then uh, take scope on potentially there Interesting. So if we play here, he takes there. We can actually take because we're not afraid of anything. Interesting. Interesting. I think this. I think that's the only move that does uh, play out properly in our lines. And then you can actually take here, and then you take. Great job. Great job, guys. Okay. You guys have any questions on this before I log off? Are you guys all good? you have any questions of anything we went over today that we can uh, potentially work through. Are you good? Okay. But, hey, you know what? Great job, guys. Great job. You guys did excellent. You know what? A lot of that was because uh, I moved a little too fast. So those those two, I don't really consider them. We'll consider them half points because we actually found the hardest moves. So the the engine may call it a loss. We'll call it a half point. So out of three, we got two because I, I they're like uh, you know wins losses. We didn't lose on that. We just we found the strongest moves. So don't don't ever think that that was a loss. We worked hard. And we did good, you know what I mean? So, and you know what? Sometimes mouse clicks happen, or miss mouse click things, and it's it's a pain, but you gotta work with it. And you know what? Keep fighting, don't give up, keep pushing forward. That's the whole thing. Learn from it, and and you know what? Move on to the next game, like Fabi says. And you know what? We have to be a uh, well-oiled machine. We think chess. And we keep pushing forward, and that that's the that's the whole thing. I remember that's what it was spoken of, uh, in Meet the Robinsons, the show. It's um, now only look back, only look back, 
just to make to make sure that the mistake that you made uh, you can learn from and then move forward and like what Bruce Lee says knowing is not enough we must apply <clears throat> willing is not enough we must do sometimes it feels like when uh, Joshua battled AI it, sometimes it feels like that with those tactics you're like why why Lord why I thought I, I thought I had it all right and then, and then you calm your mind down, and uh, the Lord helps you, and you focus back in, and you get the victory. So we have to keep that in mind as well. And also, guys, uh, please uh, keep Hawaii in your prayers. There's a, a, a hurricane that, that hit them, a really big one, and they're getting rained on with gallons and gallons of water. So just keep them in your thoughts and prayers, okay? That they're safe, healthy, and that the Lord uh, will help them as well, okay? All right, I'll leave you guys with that. And remember, with Cole, I, I, one more thing, one more. Coal is not valuable, but under pressure and under great strife and, you know, tossing and turning, it, it compresses and then when you open up the coal inside is a valuable diamond that's what chess training is you know win lose draw we're forming into a beautiful diamond and I know we can shine bright when we are in the light of the Lord we shine bright okay as Wesley so says through the Lord Jesus, and as I say, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time on Chess Cruncher TV. Have a blessed morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. And you know what? Shake it off. Keep moving forward. And you know what? Never look back, but forward. Okay, guys. Uh, Lord willing, I'll be back on tomorrow, and uh, we'll do uh, some more. I'll be able to put some, maybe a little bit more time into it tomorrow. And uh, we'll get some more puzzles done. We're getting better. We we just have to haunt. We have to focus down and keep moving forward, like we always say. And like Hannibal Smith said, a plan is only good when you're the one dictating it. Okay, guys, be blessed, and I'll uh, see you guys uh, tomorrow. Keep up the good work. Bye, bye, guys.